Hey guys, how's it going? This is Natnado. And welcome back to the Cat Lady. I'm carrying on right from where we left off. And, um, where we left off, well, I'm gonna check the damn map because I have no idea what's going on. Um, so we still have to look at Flat 8 and Flat 7. We haven't been up there in a long time. Let's go check that one out. Here we come. Alright. So there's cables, electric meters. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, maybe... What's the pram? Okay. We needed an excuse to come in here. Maybe the excru... Uh, maybe the excuse is that we're going to clean. No? Um, extension cord, maybe? Nope. <laughs> okay. Knock. Uh, well, we don't have a good reason just yet, apparently. How about... Can I... Can I give you this extension cord? No. Can I give you the broom? No. What was this all about? Cable. I don't think it's very safe. Mm, too firmly attached. What happens if I give the extension cord to this? Can I give the extension cord to this? No. Damn it. I don't know what to do. Can I broom the cable? No. Hmm. I'm confuzzled. Mitzi, can you pick this lock? Are we breaking in? Bad idea, Mrs. A. Rule number one. Never break in when the owner's home. I see. So, there's a whole rule book for amateur burglars? No. Just two rules, really. What's rule number two? Never take cynical cat ladies on a job with you. <laughs> they will put your every action into question, make fun of you, and eventually put you at risk of getting caught. Should I go home? No, please don't. <laughs> I can't do this without you. Oh, that was cute. That's better. Alright. Huh. We still need scissors. Oh, man, this isn't going very well. I don't know what any of this does. Why would I need an extension cord for? Think. Maybe the extension cord is a rope. Yeah? Maybe it's a rope and not an actual extension cord. Like, it is an extension cord. Wait, that's not an extension cord, that's a power board. Uh, I don't know. Can I use the broom? No. The... Can I go back into my place? No. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I got another plan. New plan, guys, new plan. Okay, so the new plan, if we can, we're gonna go back into this flat. If we can. Yes, we can, alright. And let's try using the broom to get that thing up there. Oh, yes! Oh my god, it's working. I'll try to catch that thing for you, alright? Oh my god, it's working. What is it? It's a statue of a cat. How nice. I thought it was a cat. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. Lovely. Rude much. Alright. A black porcelain cat with an open mouth. It wouldn't be out of place in my own flat, but I've probably got enough of these already. Shake it. <gasps> the keys are in it! Break it! Break it right now! Oh my god. What a strange hiding place. I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. <laughs> I don't remember asking you to catch anything. All right. This is what I call progress. This will sort it out then. 
Easy peasy. Whatever we have to do next will be inside this flat. I'm sure of it. Plus, because he has such a sus lock, I'm sure that there'll be some sus things in there. Let's go enjoy it. Come along, Mitzi. We're going in. Do you want to go in first? Oh boy. It looks great in here. Come on in. The place seems empty. God, I hope they don't come back. Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Just step around it. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. I really don't like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. Hmm. Oh, what the hell? He has one of those things, too. 666? Six, six, six? Really? Come on. Bingo! We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. Maybe. No, no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. I've got a power lead. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. <laughs> Can we go now, I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. You sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Go ahead, then. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Just hurry up. Just hurry up. I'll just grab the power lead and run right back. It's just across Do it, the hurry wall. Up. I'll be back before Stop you know it. Stop talking shit and go. Mm, yep. I'm an idiot. But fine, I'll wait here. Why don't we go together, While though? While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. What? Why? To keep yourself busy. <laughs> I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I come back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just a little experiment of mine. Okay, whatever. Now go. We haven't got all day. Yeah, hurry the hell up. Why do I always end up in places like this? Alright, so I think I understand what's gonna happen. Oh, for fuck's sake, the phone's ringing. Alright, but before I answer it, I think what she's going to do is she's going to come back, she's going to plug it in, she's going to be like, oh my god, it's not working, and then I'm going to have to use the extension cord, because it's not really an extension cord, but we're going to use it anyway. Let's see. What a fancy chair. You usually see chairs like this one in posh hotels in the country. Great. Mirror? Breaking mirrors. I tried that myself. It didn't cheer me up somehow. And, well, the one thing, the elephant in the room, the door with 666 on it. Right, great. Three sixes, the number of the beast. He probably keeps mutilated bodies of his victims there. On the other hand, I read once there was some other meaning to three sixes too. Something really innocent. Can't remember now, it was a long time ago and I've had other things in my mind. Well, I want to open it, but I kind of kind of want to get the phone too. Oh, well, the phone must be in that room then. Wait, no, the phone was this way. desk. Above the desk, the wall is covered with pages pinned to the wall. They look like handwritten letters. Oh, and now that I think about it, I think I'm going to, uh, think of a vegetable. Um, let's go with broccoli. No, actually corn. I changed my mind. Corn. Alright, cool. Disgusting rotten food is scattered on the table. Looks like someone made a meal and barely even touched it. Alright. Wait, the phone stopped ringing as soon as I got here. That damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. Whoa. Okay. 
Remember the hole, Susan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember Stop. the hole, Susan. I'm just trying to get to the phone. Just one big Yes, step. okay, great. Now, get to the phone without crossing the hole, please. There it is. Oh, for Remember right, the fine. hole, great, Susan. Susan. Pick up. There's no point. It stopped ringing now. If it was ringing at all. All right, we're going over the hole. Just one big Pretty step. old. Don't make it like this anymore. Switch on. Yeah, probably turn that back off. <gasps> oh, why? Yeah. Right, I'm done waiting. I need to leave right now. We haven't looked in the 666 room yet. Come on. We're gonna check that place out, then we're gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, that thing's shaking now. I don't like that. Even if I wanted to, the doorknob is missing. Oh. Well, that sucks. Mitzi! How much longer do you need to take, honestly? Oh, fucking hell. Alright, we're getting the hell out of here. But obviously, we're gonna fall down the hole this time. Or not. Just one. Good. I'd rather not fall down the hole. Oh, it's closed? Oh, it's gonna be locked. Wait, what? Damn. The door handle just came off in my hand. How am I gonna get out of here now? Well, you could drop down. But obviously, we're not gonna do that. Mitzi? Just kick the door open. Mitzi, are you there? Shit. For Christ's sake, we're gonna go in the 666 room. Remember the hole, Susan. That was a great little thing. Oh! My! The water from the bath has completely flooded the bathroom floor. Not that I care, I just want to leave as soon as possible. Mannequin. Okay, a mannequin in the bath. This guy's nuts, no doubt about that. <gasps> uh, uh, uh. Toilet? It's dirty, like everything else in this place. Okay, power lead. Examine. Which must be the power lead that we need. Maybe luck's on my side today after all. We'll take it then. Yoink. Ooh. What's that shit? Oh, Joe. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Pretty sure we need to hide. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the? I've got to get yes, out we of do here. have to go to get the fuck out of here. But then again, Joe's on the other side of the door. What? Jesus. No. You were not supposed to be here! Why did you have to ruin everything? What have you done, you stupid, evil, Bitch. Who are you? What? Um. Uh, I don't know. Am I the gas inspector? Um, the door was open. I'm sorry. The door was open. I thought you moved out. You took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to you? What? Look, sir, you are wrong. I just came here to 
find my cat. It's gone missing. Yeah, I see. That stupid cat. I've been looking for it too. Little bastard took off with my key. I'm gonna rip him to pieces. Oh. My friend knows. My friend knows that I'm here, and she will call the police. And I've got a gun. I can shoot you right there in your heart. And I won't die, because I'm invincible. It's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course you haven't got a heart. Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll just leave. Very slowly. I won't cause you any trouble at all, okay? Oh boy, she's gonna fall into the hole. Um, calm down. Calm down. I'll go now, and we'll forget all about this. There's nowhere to go. It's all wrong. No matter what I do. Damn it! Get back here right now and give me that blasted key! Oh. Please, don't get angry. I don't have any keys. Just sit down and take a deep breath while I make my way out, alright? Oh god. Here we go, into the hole. Yep. Just as I thought. What? Came through here, devil. Devil came through here? There's a bunch of doors. Let's go through the one that says devil. Wait, devil, here, through, and came. So maybe I have to go through this one. Oh. Okay. That's rather odd. Oh, I have to open it in order. Is that it? Yep, now it's gonna be something here. Right, alright, let's go. Come in, come in! There's no need to be afraid, I, I don't buy. Come in already, I might need your help with something. There are mostly horror books on the shelves. More than half of them are written by Stephen King. I guess Joe is a fan. This bed is rather fancy. It reminds me of beds they have in cheesy country hotels. Hello? Um... Where are we? Where are we? I really can't remember the name of this town, but I'm pretty sure the hotel is called Quiet Haven. This is a hotel? I know. It's a joke. They shouldn't charge half the price for this dump if you ask me. Okay... This is all just a dream, right? It's funny that you would say that. I've already heard that somewhere today. But if this is a dream, I've been asleep for a very long time. You need my help. I thought you wanted to kill me. Why would I want to kill you? You must be mistaken. Who do you think I am? Um... Uh, I must have gotten the wrong idea. <laughs> Sorry. I must have gotten the wrong idea. It happens to me Let's sometimes. just stay in his good books. 
I've been known to be a bit intimidating, I guess. But I'm not a violent person. Okay, good to know. I mean, I will use violence if I'm pushed against the wall. Do you know what I mean? All too well, Mr. Davis. All too well. I'm sorry. I just want to leave. Yes, I understand. I wouldn't stay here myself if it was my decision to make. I'm stuck here too. You see, my wife Ivy is in the room to the left. She's a little fragile at the moment. She said she was going to do her makeup, but it's been a week now. What? Every time I try to talk to her, she just gets angry. And she tells me she's not done yet. I've cooked her a meal, but she ignores me. She never likes when I cook. But what's that got to do with me? If you talk to her, I'll show you the way out, I promise. Just go in there and tell her. Tell her she looks fine. She's always so careful about looking perfect. Okay, okay. I'll see what I Knowing can do. Knowing this game, she's probably going to be really disgusting and it's going to be impossible to say that she looks good. Okay, bye, Joe. Goodbye, Joe. Alright. I'm going to have to end this episode here, guys. I'm pretty excited to see what's on the other side of that door, though. But unfortunately, that will have to wait until the next episode, so... I would like to thank you all for watching. I hope that you're enjoying this. And well... I'll see you guys in the next piece of shit that I upload. So, stay tuned for more.